Hello, I'm Bond for Upward, and this is, uh... I forget, actually, I kinda of forgot, actually. Did it start 7? Yeah, it's part 7. <laughs> and we're in Stand Up Zone. Um, uh... Then, the Up Open Zone, and you might notice that the, the part started with me 20 seconds into level. You didn't miss anything, and I just kinda of screwed up uh, my save. Screwed up the save state. All you missed was the uh, tail screen for Stand Up Open Zone. We're gonna see that at the beginning of the act 2. Um, also note you start, you know how we Sonic until start and then you actually could uh, stay there as long as you want, you have to hit the jump button to get out. And, Act 1 of the up Zone is that bad, but Act 2 is where it really gets a little bit tedious. Especially with the switches in that act. And man, there are a lot of switches in the up Zone Act 2, right? I actually just recorded the, uh, I actually just played the level like, five minutes ago, I think, yeah, cause, uh, I mean, like, it is Thursday, which, I pr I'm probably gonna upload this on Thursday, I hope I can, it's gonna take a while for it to test us, but, um, I'm sorry about not having uploads on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, um, they're probably, probably, probably not gonna see many breaks, from my upload schedule of, of once a week, or probably by now it's starting to come more like whenever I have time. Um, but... I, I do feel like I'm a little bit heavier than I usually am when recording. Not like I'm all like moody or all, but I feel a little bit kind of giddy. I think that's... Uh, I think that's... That's recording again. Um, I believe we... So, about Sandopolis Zone we got here. Probably the first... Yeah, it's the first desert zone. In... Yeah, it's the first desert zone in the entire... What's the first desert zone you're gonna see in the Sonic series? series. Um, I believe we're coming to... Probably... Desert, desert zone's kind of one of the recurring themes you see in the Sonic series. But I guess I'm like... Sorry if there's a little bit of Okay, there we go. Um... This one's a kind of recurring theme in the Sonic games. Um, along with Winter Zone, Jolson first appeared in this game, and Green Hill-like zone. And as we're gonna see in a Sonic Adventure, um, we're gonna see some desert. I mean, city zone, Jolson zone. A little bit of recurring themes. There's a lot of recurring themes in the Sonic series. Oh yeah, I've got a casino zone too. You might notice I kinda just went into a special or a bonus stage. Kind I cut that out mainly because uh I did spend a little bit of a long time in it. And it really it was the uh, the one the one of the rotating where you're, where you're rotating around ball. Not in the wrong way either. Not like clearly. Not like what you Perverts are thinking. Ah, oh, but... But... Well, I didn't really get... I didn't really finish it. That, that, that's the bonus stage with an end to it. Didn't get to the end, but... I did, I spent a lot of time in it, so I just cut that out. I cut out another one, uh, too. I another cut out another bonus stage in Act 2. Um, and this is a boss of... Or... Midway... Boss of Act 1. Um, and there's actually two ways you can beat it. You can either wait till the head pounce bounces out and keep hitting it until it bounces back. Or if you're hypersonic or you know if you dodge it good. If you dodge it good, you can just stand here as it comes to you. Stand here. Yeah, let's stand here literally. You gotta move here because I believe otherwise it'll land directly on you. And it does got hit there, it's kind of a little glitch, because as soon as you, as soon as you beat the boss, the act ends, but, the, but you're not, but well, the boss can still hit you, um, like, that was, I don't know how it works, but, somehow, it hits me, um, but, there, that's two ways, that's the only boss in the game that don't, that you can't beat by this hitting it, you have to knock it into the sand, 
You have to. And now we're in Act 2, which you might notice is kind of dark. Darkness is going to be an extra kind of main factor in this act. Also, it's kind of like Labyrinth Zone without, without, without water, which is, why is this, why is this better than Labyrinth Zone? I am, well, I don't know, switches, switches are about to take you as long to use water, and that's the one, tears in one ditch, which is, and you know, so we just hit that capsule, which leads to these ghosts. The darker the room becomes, and you know, if I hit that light switch, and the ghost disappears, the darker the room becomes, which it becomes darker over time. Um, the more ghosts that appear, and the bigger they become. Um, when the room becomes totally dark, they will actually hurt you. And you're gonna see the room totally dark, which is gonna be like how it was at the beginning, when we started the act. And the ghosts will be kinda like big, and they'll look scary, and all that jazz. They also know that there's... And I was saying at the beginning of Act 1 how Act 2 was kind of slow and tedious mainly because all the switches. There's switches to turn on the lights or to keep the ghost away and there's those switches that you have to push. And those are the tedious because it takes a long to push and if you miss them you kind of have to go all the way back and push them again. Because this one's especially annoying because you have to go up here. I do believe I nearly get crushed here. Yeah, I nearly get crushed here by that thing coming down. And I've come up all the way here to get through that. That's that's from all the way down there. That switch. And you actually have to walk all the way back and hit it again. Kind of. Look what I didn't. Look what I didn't screw up too bad. This run. Get a little bit of supersonic going on here. Or hypersonic. And no, uh, hypersonic. Little thing that. The screen flashing thing destroys all of does not destroy the ghost. But Supersonic is invincible for a moment. I mean, Hypersonic. Well, Supersonic and Hypersonic are invincible for a moment. Now, yep, this is when the ghost could start hurting you. If I wasn't Hypersonic. Or if you aren't Hypersonic. And you gotta hit sand here and it fills up. Be, be mindful though, the sand can crush you if, you if it brings you against the wall. Like, you have to be quick to get those, uh, that speed up thing and the uh, ring boxes. Otherwise, you're gonna get stuck in there and get crushed. Yeah. Also, probably. That wasn't, uh, hypersonic. It's probably a little bit annoying because. There isn't really many uh, light switches around here, so it's pretty much a guarantee it's gonna get dark here. And I believe the stand stops up here, yeah. Up here at the stand stop. And you know, I noticed these are walls here. You might have them can see a night zone for knuckles. I would say a lot of fact I believe they appear in. But those are that sleeps to a knuckles path actually. With another knuckles path path is coming up here too. Yep. And up here it's another fat knuckles pack. You actually have to pull, I get a little bit confused here because I, I don't know where to go, but I kind of go a little bit way back. I think I don't go too far back though. Yeah, and then eventually I uh, forgot that like, you're supposed to go up here. Really, I haven't played. Set up with zone in a while. The only real zone that I played for 
Sonic Green, Knuckles, and Tetrisa beat the game are um, Angel Island Zone and Hydrastic Zone. And that's just because um, I was saved. For, I was saved that um, has Hyper Sonic on. Nearly got Crusher, thanks but I didn't. That was suck. Boss. Gotta hit the boss to the real back man, he can hit him a little bit. But I raced him with uh, Hypersonic. And that's the end of the act. I mean, don't. I'm flying for upward. And this is part 7 of. Yeah, part 7 of Sonic Ray Knuckles Sonic Tailstone. And I'll see you next time. Next zone, Lava Reef.